Making a Minecraft server. We're going to show you exactly how to do it in 2023. From how to get the correct server files to how to get started making your server and get your server joinable. It's all going to be covered in this video. Now, first things first, I do want to mention that this is not a 24-hour server. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. It's also only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust. Because not only is it hosted on your own computer, it's hosted on your own internet connection. And anyone who joins this server can do things like DDoS you, which means hit your internet offline as well as figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's very important that you only provide this server and play on this server with people you would invite basically over to your house. Last but not least, it's not super simple to set up a Minecraft server. This video is the basics of it. It'll allow you to join your server, but in order for your friends to join, you'll need to port forward. Of course, we have guides on how to do that and we link out to them, but it is an additional step that you need to take. Overall, expect to probably spend at least an hour if this is your first time setting up a Minecraft server. With that being said, what if you do want a server that you don't have to host on your own computer? What if you want a server that's up and running all the time, 24 hours a day? What if you want a server that can be made public or private? It's up to you. Or what if you want to just install things like mod packs and plugins and all that super simply with just a few clicks? Well, that's where this video's sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get your server up and running. We actually host every single Minecraft server on Apex Minecraft Hosting that we have. And guess what? We don't just talk about Apex because they're a sponsor. We talk about them because we love them and truthfully they're the best Minecraft server hosting company out there. So much so we do a yearly review of Apex just to make sure that is still the case and for 2023 it was. So if you want to start a server where you don't have to worry about hardware because it's on Apex's hardware, you don't have to worry about internet security because it's on Apex's internet connection and it's set up to be public or private and they have DDoS protection, that's why it can be public. And on top of all of that, if you want a server that has one click installation of things like mods, plugins, all of that stuff, well then guess what? Check out Apex. They also have 24 hour, seven day a week support so should you have an issue with your server, they are there to help day or night. Again, we use Apex every single day so go check out Apex in the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your server up and running nevertheless if you do want to start a server on your own computer let's jump on into it first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below now one thing we guarantee with this video is that you'll be able to start a server whether it's version 1.19.3 like we'll be doing in this video or 1.20 or 1.22 in the future how do we guarantee that well while the video may become outdated this article on our website won't we update it for every minecraft version that comes out not only is the video updated for every subversion, the article is updated for every main version and for subversions if there's something specific that needs to be changed. But 119 is very similar to 1193 in this case. But nonetheless, it is all up to date. We keep it all super up to date. That way you could start a Minecraft server in confidence. We actually have a complete revamp of this article coming very, very soon, so be sure to look forward to that. But nevertheless, this article is up to date and will work no matter what with your Minecraft server, ensuring that you can get things up and running correctly. The article will allow you to go at your own pace, but with this video, we're going to cover everything as well. Once you're here, just scroll down and click on the Download Minecraft button to go to the official Minecraft.net server download page. On this page, you want to click on the Minecraft underscore server dot one dot nineteen dot three dot jar. Now again, this may not be one nineteen three; it may be a different version of Minecraft. And if that's the case, go ahead and select that. Now, in the bottom left, the server dot jar will start downloading. You may need to keep this on Google Chrome or save it in Firefox. It's hundred percent safe to do that. This is official Minecraft.net, the official Minecraft website. So no worries there; it's a safe file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and this is going to be found in our downloads folder. Now, if you're on Windows ten, you can click the little Windows icon. It's probably the bottom left of your screen but if you're on Windows 11 it'll be in the bottom center of your screen click on that and then type in downloads you have a file folder here that's most likely called downloads if you don't click on the file explorer then come under this PC in the left hand sidebar and select the downloads folder there here is the server.jar let's drag it to our desktop now coming back to our desktop we actually want to create a new folder so let's right click create a new folder and then we can title this minecraft 2023 server you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to name it that because well that's what the video is let's go ahead and drag the server.jar into this folder now at this point all you need to do to start your server is double click on this file and don't be alarmed if it doesn't say dot jar if you don't want to make it say that click on view at the top and then make sure file name extensions is checked right like so nevertheless though you should be able to double click on this but some of you won't be able to and if that's the case you need to download and install java 17. java 17 is required for minecraft servers you must have java 17. Now, for a lot of you, that'll fix it. You'll get Java 17. This article, by the way, linked in the description, is super in-depth, and we'll go over everything you know to get it. And I say Java 17, it might be Java 18 in the future. It might be Java 19. But this article will always work with the most recent version of Minecraft, just like our server article will. So that is always going to be up to date here. 
and make sure it works and everything is correct. So that's why this might be different in the future. And if it is, don't worry about it. But you may also need to run the jar fix after you get the correct version of Java from here. So get the correct version of Java, then run the jar fix. And it's gonna take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So keep in mind that you may install Java and it still may not work when you double click on server.jar. You still may need to come run the jar fix and then it will work. Nevertheless though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here and double click on that server.jar. Now when you do that, it's uh, not gonna work really. It's just gonna generate some files and folders and things like that. Ultimately, it's not gonna start a server. The reason though is because it generated this eola.txt file. Go ahead and open this up. And then assuming you agree to the Minecraft eola here, which we do, we can change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that. Click file save and you're good to go. By the way, make sure there's no spaces or anything like that on the EULA line. It should be exactly like this and then file, save. Now, when we double click on the server.jar, this is actually going to start your server. Your server at this point is going to start. It's going to open up. As you can see, here is the Minecraft server kind of backend and it's preparing the spawn. Once it's finished doing that, it'll say done and your server is started. At this point, you can join your server. You're the only person that can join your server though. So let's go ahead and join your server really fast. And then after that, we'll show you how to allow your friends to get in your server. So here we are, our Minecraft server is open on the left and Minecraft is open on the right. If we go into multiplayer and then we click proceed and direct connection, we'll be able to see local hosts right here. Now you probably don't have that. You'll probably need to type in local host. This is how you can join your server. This is how, honestly, you should always join your Minecraft server. However, it's not how your friends will join. You're the only person that can join your server this way. But when we do click join, we can see on the left-hand side, boom, we pop on through. We are now in our server. It's worth noting a few general tips for your server at this point. First is opting someone. Opting someone allows them to use commands like game mode creative and things like that. Right now, for example, I can't do that. But if we come over here into the server console and we type op and then our username, in my case, that's Nick's games and hit enter, we can change to game mode creative. Now, be careful who you give that to because it also allows people to do things like ban your server and all of that stuff. Should you have an Apex server and want to make sure and ensure that it is private, you will want to do something called whitelisting. Now, once you're opt-in game, you can run this in-game, but you can also do it from the console. That's is, uh, the console over here and type in whitelist on. Now, only people who are whitelisted on your server can join. To add someone to the whitelist, to do slash whitelist add, and then their username will add myself to the whitelist. So you can also turn the whitelist off with whitelist off as the command. But that's just a few general like server rules and server upkeep, things that you might wanna know when you're first getting your server started. To ban someone, should you have someone who needs to be banned, you can do slash ban and then their username. But nevertheless, you've got your server up and running. How do your friends join? Well, in order for your friends to join your server, you will need to port forward. We have an in-depth guide that's helped over half a million people at this point port forward for Minecraft. Now, the port you're going to forward is 25565 on the TCP and UDP protocols. That probably sounded like a bunch of gibberish, and that's why you should watch our in-depth guide here. We show you how to do everything with, of course, a ton of helpful links in the description as well in order to help you out. So go check that video out. We've also got other links in the description. For example, how to fix a broken Minecraft server. If you have issues with your server and it's broken, guess what? This is a great way to do it. 21 minutes of specific troubleshooting for how to fix a Minecraft server. You wanna add mods to your server? We've got a video on it linked in the description. You want plugins on your server? You're gonna use paper for that. This is linked in the description as well as other guides on plugins and making a Minecraft server network. So this goes over things more in depth as well. So all that is linked in the description down below. Go check it out. Nevertheless though, that is how to make a Minecraft server. Like I said, in order for your friends to join, you'll need to port forward and keep in mind that at Apex, you don't need to port forward at all. But anyway, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stop your server correctly. To do that, you wanna come over here and type stop, right like so and hit enter. That's gonna stop your server correctly, making sure everything closes out, saves and nothing gets like messed up or corrupted in closing it out. But that is how you can start a server. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. And be sure to share the video on your screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll like it. They have a pretty good algorithm, so uh, maybe they're right. Check it out. See you in the next one. Peace.